Hey guys and girls, uh, I'll be commencing the video that I shot from uh, Los Angeles airport to San Francisco as a passenger on the commercial flight. So at the moment, I'm selecting the route that I want between those two airports on Garmin Pilot on iPad. Um, here, GPS just got ready, uh, and I want to make sure that my flight plan list is empty, so I'm deleting all previous flight plans. See, now it's empty. Uh, I'm also uh, stopping the current activity and discarding the data just to start fresh. Now, activity is discarded, and I'm opening Pilot Sync, which is a new app by Garmin released in June of 2016. And here I can just transfer the flight plan I just created on the iPad via Bluetooth. This is what's going on right now. And you can see on the watch and on the iPad that the flight plan has been successfully transmitted. And now the watch is importing that flight plan into its flight plan list. And here we see it from Los Angeles to San Francisco. And I'm going to review the points to make sure that everything is correct. This feature does send star and sit and airways. But not as airways or star or sit, just as waypoints that constitute those routes. But it does this successfully and now I can see uh, the little aircraft on the watch. And I'm going to zoom out for you guys to see the entire map, the entire um, path, flight path. And let's see how it corresponds to the one on the iPad. Now going to road borders. And we can see that it's actually the same flight plan. So we could use the watch to navigate, or at least as a backup, uh, which is the point of having this watch. To be noted, you can also uh, send a flight plan to the watch without having that Pilot Sync watch app enabled. And then you open it and the flight plan has been received and then it gets imported. So you can do first one and then the other, it does not matter. Now it's important to note that if you're an Airbus pilot, you will not be able to use the GPS of the watch inside your Airbus cockpit because the windshield and the whole cockpit frame does not let GPS satellite signal through and as a result your watch will not be able to know its position or speed or GPS altitude. It will still use pressure to know the cabin altitude which could be useful to you. Now in a real flight as a pilot in a Cessna 172 RJ Cutlass going from uh, Corsica in the south of France from Figari to mainland France, Valence. We're now in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and this is about one hour cross. Just uh, showing that my flight plan is there on the watch. I've uh, changed it since I took off and I did not bother to update it on the watch. Obviously did that on the iPad, but we can see that the position is consistent with the reality. I overflew uh, Lima Foxtrot Kilo Charlie, the airport you can see on the watch, so this is correct. That's my elevation, speed, heading, timer. That's the next waypoint and the nearest airport which I just overflew. Now that's the basic instrument page and let's compare to the onboard Garmin GPS. And we can see the speed matches nicely. 118 knots, 120 knots, 119, 118. Uh, this is exactly the same. Same applies to the track or the heading which was 305. Now this is a little bit further into the flight 
We're now uh, on mainland France, continuing to Valence Airport. And we're pretty much on our planned flight plan, just slightly off to the left. And uh, we are at flight level 100. Well, and you can see that little triangle, the red triangle on the watch. This shows where the nearest airport is. It does, it does not show the direction of the next waypoint like it did on the D2. All instruments work nicely. Our speed is just uh, 110 knots because of strong headwind. But the watch works really well. <laughs> 